So this is not a how-to. This is just how I did it. Um, I have this Icelandic sweater here, and I want to put a zipper in it. And so when I was knitting it, I followed the instructions, which told me in the center to make two purl stitches every time I went around. So I'm going to show you how I do the Raga Eric's Daughter method of uh, preparing this steak and cutting this steak, and it's going to be really easy. So this is my pattern, Lecker, uh, which as you can see, it has it's a zip front cardi. So it needs to have a steak cut because I knitted in the round. And the pattern told me that every time I got to the center marker, I was to purl a stitch before and purl a stitch after the marker. So I did that, which means that on the inside of the garment, it looks like two knit stitches. Now, the next thing you have to do, according to Raga Eric's daughter's wonderful uh, Icelandic steaking method, is you have to stabilize the edges before you cut the steak. And the way you do that is you crochet into every knit stitch that's along the side of those two purl stitches. I've already done it on one side, and now I'm going to do it on the other side. But it's basically, with it with the, the purl stitches away from you, you start crocheting into each one of those knit stitches all the way back up. And then I'm going to cut the steak. There's no sewing machine, no nothing, just crochet. Okay, so I'm at the neck, and you can see here's the first row of crochet, the first side that I did of the crochet. And now I'm just going to go in under the whole stitch, pull up a loop. I don't even know how to crochet, and I'm doing this. Pull up another loop, and it's single crochet, so as I understand that, you have to go back through the first one. And there's a lot of these knit stitches, but you go under every one. And this is how you secure it so that when you cut, nothing happens. So I finished the other crochet edge. And I'm a little concerned by all this warbling here, but since I haven't yet washed and blocked the sweater, I'm hoping that it grows and then that straightens out. That's the hope. Um, so to cut the steak, the easiest way to see where you're cutting is to cut right between these two knit stitches on the wrong side. So I'm going to turn it inside out. Okay, so now it's inside out. And I'm going to clear the path. It's going to be hard to cut up here where I, because I don't think I did this right, but I didn't know how to do it, so I just did it that way. But it's really easy to see in the plain part of the sweater. So as long as I'm between these two crochets, chains, I should be good. Here I go. Ah! This is so scary. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Thank you, Raga. You're a goddess. That's all there is to it. It creates all these little dingle dangly things. It's kind of worrisome. I'm going to deal with those later with a ribbon. So I turned it back over to the right side because I was worried when I was cutting from the wrong side that I was going to accidentally cut the crochet and that would be, you know, that would be a bad moment. But I want to show how cool this is, how it just sort of naturally rolls to the inside. And this is where the zipper is going to go, and then over the zipper, a beautiful piece of ribbon. And it's already starting to look less crazy and curly. So I think, you know, Raga knows what she's doing. Trust Raga. So now I'm going to cut from the right side, because I've realized that it doesn't really matter if you are in the precision center. So see, I worried about that the whole time I was knitting it, and I didn't need to. It's a metaphor for life. These are very sharp little scissors, so highly recommended. Little Fiskars spring action scissors. And steak! Wow! Yay! 
Thank you, Raga Eric's daughter. Love you so much.